Welcome to the channel, I'm Hudson, Kilt Advocate. Used to wear kilts years ago, every day, rain or shine. But uh, military injuries got the best of me and made me less active. Less active mean I gained more weight. And that means I couldn't wear the kilts that I owned. So, recently I went to the market in the Philippines, as you can see. Beautiful. And it reminded me of the lifestyle that I had before. Bought the scotch. However, didn't open it. But that's not what's important. What's important is that it reminded me of my kilt and tartan swatch inventory. So, here's a short uh, story of what I have and why I bought it. This was my normal weight when I first started, 35 inches around the true waist, slightly above the navel, uh, 42.5 around the hips, 24 inch drop down to the middle of my knee. Now, I'm 42 inches around the waist, then about 48 inches around the hips same 24 inch drops. That means I can wear these kilts. Started with UT kilts, then transitioned to sport kilts, both affordable, then transitioned to USA kilts. So let's start. When I first started, I used to pick these buckles that were shiny. Just because that's what I was, uh, that's all I saw in the beginning. And so that's what I wore. But then as I wore kilts more, I started to uh, appreciate and prefer the bronze over the chrome. More laid back. So I got a Scottish thistle and I got the Marine Corps emblem in the kilt buckle. Even looking back now, I would prefer the, blonde, the bronze over the, uh, the chrome. I like to wear a kilt belt even though you don't have to. Just because I like the style. Multiple belts, USA kilts. Sporing. What first got me interested in kilts was the Marine Corps tartan. And once I found out there were military uh, tartans for the US branches, state tartans, universal tartans, I started to like get really really uh really get a passion for kilt wearing and it all started because i found out that there was a marine corps tart this i got from usa kilts semper fidelis on there a nice little pocket on the inside uh, no opening but it held a lot nice quality what I also like to point out is that I first started with a spore and chain. And what I noticed when I wore this is that it would put uh, little tears on the kilts that I wore. So that's why I started doing research, asking around. Then I found out that the spore and strap is a little bit better and looks nicer. It doesn't damage the kilts, at least the kilts that I had, these sport kilts right here. This is also from USA Kilts. Really nice storage. Then, after a while, I mean, I got tired of putting the strap around my waist, right? It called me a little lazy. So then I got the spore and hangers. But then eventually, I went back to the spore and strap because it just looked better. Let's see. Um, ah, this is a cat badge. Um, I first started with this the chrome, the pen, or the sword rather, the kilt pen that I put on my kilts. I had this. Uh, uh, 
procedure that I would do. It's like two inches from the right, four inches up. Four inches up, two inches to the left. So I could center it on the bottom of the kill. It's like four inches up, two inches. Something like that. And it always looked good. Uh, I transitioned eventually to a, a cap badge. So from kill pen to cap badge, and it worked. It looks better. So that's what I did. That's what it looked like on the back. I got the specific one from Celtic Croft. CelticCroft.com. All right, kilt holes. These are breathable, good quality. Near the back. What I found out is I did. They didn't stay on my knee. They would like drift down. So what I did is I looked for uh, garters. I think that's what they're called. Elastic bands without the flashes. And I was able to strap that around my leg and it kept the kilt up. Uh, this was a gift that I got from another kilter when I was part of a kilt forum consistently. I sent him one of my sport kills. He sent me the sporin and I appreciate it going to keep it always uh, now let's get to the kilts uh, these are sport kilts that's a black kilt I stopped wearing these after a while it's a good starter kilt but as I started wearing kilts and doing more research I noticed that it's less pleats all right I noticed that the quality wasn't really there I mean it's a sport kilt what do you expect they look good from the front, or good enough, but once you start opening it up, now mind you, this isn't iron yet. It's just been sitting in my storage. But when you open a kilt up, you want more police than that. Once I put on a, a semi-traditional from USA Kilts, and when I bought me a five-yard wool kilt, Pennsylvania tartan, I started to know what a real kilt looked like. But what's important here is that these were my starters. This is the Air Force Tartan because I was in the Air Force also, the reserves. California Tartan. This is the McDonald Tartan. Now my last name is Hudson. But the more I knew, the more I did. And then I found out about SEPT, S-E-P-T. SEPT, a last name that falls under the uh, their original tartan name and my last name Hudson was a Sephardy McDonald's so I bought that <laughs> Hawaii tartan right there this Marine Corps tartan and what I like about sport killed is for everything they put these nice fringes on there but the problem, once I started real and real wearing traditional kilts, like the semi-traditional from USA Kilts that I'll show. The problem is the pleats. I mean, after you wear a real, a real kilt, I don't think that you'll go back to this. But what I'll say, it's affordable and it's a good starter kilt. Now, let's look at the good stuff. It's down. quality of embossed but it's definitely better than a velcro velcro is hot in the Philippines and once you wear something like this that's all you want to do I'm sorry I'm speaking for myself but once I wore something like this that's all I wanted to do so that's the marine first time
same stock, semi traditional USA cuts. Alright, black. Not much to look at there. But the back, you got your cleats from one side and the out. It's worth it. And that's the amount of cleats that I want from now on. Not six, seven cleats. I want, I want to be able not to count them. And the buckles. Make it look more authentic. So the PV kills. This is this was the way to go for them. Couldn't do that. And I like to add that I enjoy the kill being out around the navel. The true ways more so than that the jeans ways. Look better. Felt better. Let's see. Here's a close up since this is a traditional kill. Semi traditional, rather. So that you can see it. Alright. It's disappointing that I can't wear it, but that's on me. I'm too heavy now. But at least you get to see what you'll be getting when you get a kill from USA Kills. Let's see. What else can I do? Come on now. This is uh, the fringes that they have. And when you touch it, it's a better uh, quality than a sport cut. The other one is like poly, poly arylic. This one, uh, this poly viscose material, you just feel like you're somebody. Uh, special with this. Let's show you how the straps are. Now I felt special in this, but that's because I, I didn't know. But now that I know, even more special. Um, what am I trying to show you? Just show you the workings of it, but not too much. You know, I'm an amateur. Don't be mad at me. I just wanted to show you what that looked like. And I bought this six years ago. So if I'm able to lose some weight, I'm gonna wear this. In the Philippines, I'm already looked at uh, a whole lot because I'm a foreigner. I don't look Filipino, so I look out of place. Imagine if I wear a kilt, look even more out of place. But at least I have style, even more style. So now that that's out the way, um, what I forgot to do is show how the sport kill opens for those that are interested in the sport kill. And it, this is just a Velcro. Just so that's how that worked. And all I had to do was wrap it around me and it velcroed shut at the jean waist. Boom, wrap this around, boom, call it a day. But as you can see, still side by side. Which one would you rather wear? Huh? Which one would you rather wear? I'm not a professional, I'm an amateur. Just making a video outside with a bunch of noise. But which one would you rather wear? This PV material, even if I went hiking or it rained, I can still wash it. And it's like it never happened never got dirty so yeah i would prefer a five yard wool kill but uh if i plan on wearing something and the weather's rainy or it's too hot like it is in the philippines 
then the PV is the way to go. If you don't want to damage an expensive wool kill. So next video I'll do. Ooh, it's about to rain. Next video I'll do, you'll probably see me in a kill. Drinking scotch. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. Almost forgot. Tartan swatches. Once you're serious about kills, you'll start to realize <clears throat> or uh, well, understand that different tartans, PV or will, come from different mills. All right, this one, La Karen. Uh, we have Mar <clears throat> Martin Mills, House of Edgar. There's a few others that I'm missing. But let me get to the tartans. So these are swatches ordered from USA Kills Marines. Spirit of Scotland. And it's a shame, it's a shame the sun isn't out so you can see it clearly. This is the Sterling. And all these are uh, universal, don't need any special permission. You know, but I'm a Marine, so that one. But people wear this also if they have a family member that was in the Marines. I show respect. Spirit of Scotland's Universal, Sterling Universal, Pennsylvania, from Pennsylvania. So definitely, McDonald. Last name is Hudson. Accept under McDonald. So got that. Hollywood. Universal. Wonderful tart. Chinese Scottish tart. Right? Strathmore. Interesting, huh? Caledonia. American Heritage. Isle of Sky. That's a beauty right there. Come on now. Albanog. I listen to their music on YouTube. Really nice. And Glendor. Those are the swatches.